I'm Victor Vogel. I have a channel, you can see it right above here on YouTube called Building Renaissance Leaders. I'm a leadership expert and a knowledge generator of leadership, and I'm right now working very strongly to present a new paradigm in leadership and a new paradigm of leadership development that we need to help create leaders of the future. So one of the things that I say a Renaissance leader has to master effectively, I mean, really become good at, to be able to deal with everything that's going to be hitting in the upcoming decade as a leader is interpersonal communication. You literally need to be effective at being able to communicate uh, in general, but certainly to your employees, but in general also. So that's sort of what we're going to cover here today. Uh, and I kind of want to walk you through uh, a course that I put together. It's called a cohort course, but I don't like to refer to that because people don't necessarily know what that means. But uh, let me kind of explain the course to you a little bit as we go through this. You'll understand a little more what I'm trying to do with this course. Uh, it's a one day a week for two hours in the evening and it goes over 12 weeks. So you can kind of envision this like a college course, okay? You go in, you sign up for a semester of college course. In this case, it's gonna be trimester because we're gonna run three of them a year. But, but it, it goes over the period of 12 weeks and it's designed to do that because we want you to be able to receive the information we're talking about, uh, where there's two aspects of this, receive the information that we discussed in the class and then be able to go back and apply it. So when you come to the next class, you can discuss it and you can talk about what happened, what worked, what didn't work, and we can work through how you make this work or, or improve your understanding and what you missed and then also talk about how you can literally make this work in your work environment and use it effectively to change the behavior of others, to influence others more effectively, to want to follow you. So that's why we go across 12 weeks. It's, it's not condensed, and we're not going to condense it down into two two-day courses or whatever. Uh, we're gonna, it's going to be a 12-week program uh, out into the future. Uh, the class is sets the day. So the first day normally begins in the beginning trimester, and, and this uh, trimester we're in now, it started September the 10th, and uh, it's normally the second Tuesday of every beginning trimester. And then in that day where we have the introduction, I'll talk about that in a minute, uh, we, we decide which day you're going to select and uh, and which time of the day you want to meet as a team, and then we adjust and adapt. If I'm available for that, we adjust and adapt. And I try very much to be flexible on that. Uh, it's a highly interactive uh, course, like I said, with assignments and assessments and a whole series of things are going on during this 12 weeks to enhance your knowledge about yourself and your knowledge of interpersonal communication and your capability of improving interpersonal communication. Virtually no one, I have not seen a course like this anywhere that puts this kind of material together comprehensively enough to be able uh, to get this kind of information that I know leaders uh, need uh, to be effective as leaders. And, and I know this because this comes from eight years of uh, working on uh, my master's and most of my doctorate. Didn't get a chance to finish it because things got in the way, consulting and raising a family and travel and all that, all that kind of stuff. Something had to go on. And I just held on the PhD and was going to go back and finish. But when I got back to it, I've done so much of what they were going to teach me already out in the business world. I, frankly, I just didn't need the PhD. So uh, I, I have eight years of uh, knowledge uh, consolidation from education uh, at the university, and, and it was working at the PhD level on communication 
So I have that. And then I took that information the whole time I was actually working on this information. I was actually employed and working in the field. And, and so I have about 35 years of leadership and leadership development knowledge. So this course in communication came from, the, from actually understanding communication very well, having been trained in interpersonal communication in each area, I was able to identify that these were barriers to leaders becoming successful leaders, either assimilating and taking and learning skills effectively and putting them to work out there in the business world, but also how to take that and uh, use communication to effectively influence others as a leader and, and I was able to see all of the things that were getting in the way of leaders being able to be effective at that. So that's where the course content comes from. We're going to cover in just a few minutes. Uh, this is basically could be considered a graduate level of education. It's a seminar format uh, where we do uh, personal assessments. We assign exercises and all those kinds of things in it. it it's like six people uh, sitting around with their instructor chatting and talking about what they need to learn in a casual way. It's very conducive to learning. Uh, I also have office hours where you can meet with me individually and talk about specific things relative to you or specific things you want uh, to talk about that will enhance your learning or capability to do this. And also lets me know that you're Yes, grasping what you need to know to be able to implement this once you take it out into the real world. Now, uh, I don't provide a financial setup where you can take this course over a period of time. I'm operating kind of like a university. I can provide you the course and I can provide you a method for to pay for the course, uh, which in this case is major credit cards. And, uh, that is one way you could spread this out for as long as your credit card allows you to have a money months they allow you to spread your uh, payment of this course over. So that's one way of spreading the payment, but it's not my way. I take the full payment up front with your credit card and you just spread that out and pay for it as you choose to pay for it. So um, now in terms of cancellation, there's a hundred percent refund if you cancel 14 days before the class begins. If you cancel 13 days before the class begins, you, you don't get a refund. And I do that because I it's awful hard to find somebody to put into that slot uh, if I don't have somebody lined up. Now, I reserve the right to make decisions and different kinds of circumstances warrant the having the grace to refund 100% of your of your uh, uh, tuition for this course. Uh, and I have the right to do that if I choose to do that, even though I'm saying, uh, you know, 13 days in front of the class, you don't get it back. Um, and, I, and a lot of that sometimes depends on whether I do have a backlog for classes so I can reach out and fill that class. If I'm not being harmed in any way financially, uh, for uh, that uh, uh, cancellation, then I, that's fine. I don't mind doing that and I will do that. So I just reserve those rights. So that's sort of how the class is, uh, what is conduct conducted, how we do business relative to the interpersonal communication leadership course. Let's talk about the topic. The introduction, I told you, this is where we decide the dates and the times. We talk about all the things we're going to be doing, how we're going to be doing. Uh, we spend a little time team building or learning about what the model of communication really is here. This is where you learn what really happens when two people are talking to each other far more than you think. It's also where we talk about, we do a little team building, a little pre-assessment about yourself. You learn a little bit about your own communication style. And uh, uh, we're going to talk about the assessments and how we need you to conduct those in the upcoming weeks. And there are several of those that you're going to have to do during the course of the week. 
and uh, how the course transpires, et cetera. Uh, then we move straight in the second week into conflict resolution. Is, we'll be covering conflict, all the aspects of conflict, uh, what conflict is, but also how to uh, effectively use communication, that model, how you communicate, how to apply that effectively against resolving conflicts. We talk about nonverbal skills and the importance of delivering messages and and the role that nonverbal communication plays in that. And, and that's an extremely important part because about 96% of what somebody believes is important about a message and, and decides what that message means is based on your nonverbal skills. And so without some sort of medium like this on social media where you can see me and I can see you, then it's a little difficult to have effective interpersonal communication as a learning and educational tool. Now, you're this is going to, this is different. You're getting a one-way communication from me. In the course, there'll be six slots up on the screen. Everybody will be visible on the screen at the same time, including me, and our mics will be open all the time. It'll be as if you were sitting in a room with me. Talking and if we have a guest instructor for some reason, we have a guest along with us or someone else who wants to audit uh, one of the courses or something with one of the people. And everybody agrees. Sometimes that's an option we'll have available to us. Uh, all of those mics are open, and all of us are seeing each other all the time and how we're behaving in six little uh, square boxes sort of in a horseshoe format on the screen, and we're all talking, we're all sharing. So it's going to be very much like being in a classroom together. Uh, we're going to be talking about building trust, credibility through interpersonal communication, extremely important topic area. These courses start with conflict, and they kind of build on each other in terms of providing good information you're going to see ties to the next class you have and then the next class you have it. It's kind of a building block format that, that each of these uh, link to each other. So building trust, for example, would be important to understanding about how to inspire and motivate people. You can see how that works. And then we're going to develop active listening skills uh, for effective leadership. We're going to talk specifically about active listening, go into detail about active listening because people don't understand active. You're only going to use it probably 5% of all the communication you have, just, just so you understand. But when you do need it, it is absolutely essential and critical. So that's the importance of active listening. We're going to talk about communicating with diverse teams and cultures. And, and I don't mean we're going to discuss DEI. I mean, we're really going to talk about culture in general. You're going to understand how culture works, starting with your core values, your belief systems, and how, how that process works. And, and we're going to talk about how that is impacted by uh, communication. We're going to talk about feedback, part of the active listening. A lot of people te teach active listening and feedback together. You need to understand active listening and feedback are part of a totally broader system of interpersonal communication. So you are going to be walking away, not just understanding active listening and feedback, but the roles those play and the context of the whole communication process. It's going to make you much more effective and much more influential with other people. Uh, emotional intelligence, we're going to touch on that because that is one of the other three categories that are important that a uh, a leader must master to be a, a renaissance leader of the future, somebody that's going to have to handle a very tough leadership world coming up in the future with all the different varieties of work environments that they're creating, et cetera. Uh, building rapport and relations through uh, shift through effective communication. Uh, we're going to talk about communicating with difficult personalities in leadership roles. You don't hear this too much. You, you, you hear it talking about a performance appraisal uh, course, or you know, hear somebody, how do you handle discipline? But, but we're talking about different, sometimes 
a variety of difficult personalities. How are you going to approach these? How do you approach difficult personalities using, how can communication help you do that effectively is basically it. And then finally, we're going to talk about how you actually go back and make this work in your world, that, you, that what you've taken, you've learned, you can transfer into action on the job, at home, and basically you can use this anywhere where you have a communication issue. All of these things I talked about, we're talking about in the context of leadership. They happen in the context of marriages and relationships and friendships and just organizations and clubs and churches and uh, politics and everywhere else. The, the, the scope of communication is so much wider uh, than the relationships of small one-on-one uh, -on -one or small group environments. But each of those are categories. The one-on-one -on -one relationships are a category of communication. Small groups is a category of communication. Presenting in mass media to larger groups one way is a form of communication. Political communication. So, so these have all mushroomed from this base concept of interpersonal communication to all these specialties. Social media is now a communication area. The, the, uh, there are people specialized in how to do what I'm doing more with you right now more effectively than I am actually presenting this to you. So there are opportunities to learn and grow and enhance what I'm going to teach you. But it begins with the core. None of that makes much difference. You know, if you're presenting to a bunch of people in mass and you really don't have these basic interpersonal skills down, you're not going to be as effective when you do that. You're going to be communicating maybe faster to more people in larger masses. You're going to be communicating horribly. So that <laughs> efficiently, you're going to be efficiently communicating horribly. So, so those are the dynamics of this. And so, uh, who should attend this course? You know, what's this? You know, what's who's my target audience? Uh, it's board members, executives, CEOs, entrepreneurs, and business owners. But it's also vice presidents, directors, department head, managers, supervisors, team leaders, crew leaders, project leaders, in fact, employees. Everyone, everyone can benefit from this. So how do we do this? Let me just touch with you on enrolling uh, in, in this. And uh, you can actually go to victorvogel.com. You see that up here. What you have over here is the book. Uh, and that's the course workbook. Uh, I hope to see you in the course. If you have any questions, you can reach me here uh, on my Building Renaissance Leadership channel or you can reach me on LinkedIn or Facebook or any other places. All of those are listed in the description here, uh, and along with an email address where you can email me and request a question and answer session with me. I don't charge for those. You can you know, call me up and say, tell me a little more about this course before I sink $750 into the course. Uh, tell me a little more about it. Uh, well, I'm, I'll take time to do that with you uh, so that you feel comfortable because I want you to stay through the whole course. I want you to enjoy the course. I want you to be highly successful as a communicator after the course. That's the sole purpose of why I put this course together. So uh, I will see you in the course. Have a great day.